Hello, BCPS families. We are so excited to share with you Fancy Nancy and the Posh Puppy, written by Jane O'Connor, with permission from HarperCollins Children's Books. We are going to read this story, and as you listen to it, we're going to stop and ask you to think about certain parts of the book. Today, we're going to have you listen to the vocabulary that is unique to this text. After you listen, first we will share some questions with you to think about and talk about. Then you will see a writing prompt. You can share this writing prompt and your answers with your teacher. Finally, you will see an engaging activity at the end for you to have fun interacting with the book. Enjoy! Hello BCPS students and families. Today I am going to read a fiction text called Fancy Nancy and the Posh Puppy written by Jane O'Connor with permission to read by Harper Collins Children's Books. Good readers ask and answer questions as they read to enhance their understanding of the story. Good readers also use clues from the story to learn the meaning of unknown vocabulary. In this story, the main character, Nancy, likes to use fancy vocabulary words. For example, I see the word posh in the title of this story, Fancy Nancy and the Posh Puppy. I'm wondering what the word posh means. As we read today, we'll stop at times to discuss some of Nancy's fancy vocabulary words. We'll see if we can use the clues from the text and illustrations to learn the meaning of the words, including the word posh. Let's get reading. I am ecstatic. That's a fancy word for happy. We're going to get a puppy, a real one. I hope we get a papillon, like our neighbor's dog. You say it like this, papillon. In French, it means butterfly. On this page, I learned that Nancy would like a papillon. I notice that the illustration shows a small, well-groomed dog wearing a cute coat to stay warm. I wonder if these clues could help us learn the definition of the word posh, since Nancy wants a posh puppy. I wonder if posh means stylish or fancy. Certainly this papillon is stylish and fancy. Let's keep reading to find out. I help Mrs. Devine take care of Jewel. We take her to the beauty salon. We buy her new ensembles. That's a fancy word for clothes. Papillons are so posh. That's a fancy word for fancy. We were right. We use clues from the text and illustrations to learn that posh means fancy. There's only one problem. My parents. Papillons like to stay indoors. My dad says, they're too little and delicate, my mom says. What about one of these dogs? I shake my head, too big, too brown, too plain. Sometimes it's hard being the only fancy person in a family. Then I get an idea that is spectacular. That's a fancy word for great. We can puppy sit for Jewel. My parents say, okay. So does Mrs. Devine. My family will see how happy we'll be with a papillon puppy. I introduce Jewel to my doll, Maribel. I show my sister how to groom Jewel and how to scoop her poop. My sister wants to hold and kiss Jewel. I tell her. You must be gentle. What a responsible girl you are, my mom says. Some dog is going to be very lucky. Merci, 
I say. That's French for thank you. Two of my friends are walking their dogs. Come on over to my house, I say. I'm puppy sitting. All the dogs can play together. Rusty splashes in the waiting pool. Jewel hides behind my legs. Scamp plays fetch. Go, Jewel, get the ball, I yell. Jewel just looks at me. She gets exhausted pretty quickly, I tell my friends. That's a fancy word for tired. While Jewel gets her beauty rest, we have refreshments. Oh no, look what my sister's doing. Poor Jewel is terrified. Mom, come quick. Jewel is going to be sick. The text says that Jewel is terrified. Let's use the clues to see if we can learn what the word terrified means. When I look at the illustration, I see Jewel sitting on top of a wobbly stack of pillows. It looks like the pillows could fall at any moment. I'm thinking that the word terrified means very scared or frightened. When we get our puppy on, I'm not letting her near it, I say. My mom whispers, she doesn't know any better. She was trying to be nice. I know that. We take Jewel back to her house. She is a perfect dog for Mrs. Devine, but maybe she isn't the perfect dog for us. Remember that good readers ask and answer questions as they read to enhance their understanding. Why has Nancy changed her mind? Why isn't a Papillon the perfect dog for Nancy's family? Based on the text and illustrations, I think that Nancy and her sister Jojo need a dog that is more active, one that wants to splash in the waiting pool and play fetch. I wonder if Nancy will ever find the perfect dog for her. Let's keep reading. I'm so sad, I hardly get fancy when we go to the King's Crown for dinner. On the way home, we drive by the animal shelter. Let's take a look, my mom says. All those dogs need a family to love them. I ask the lady, are there any fancy dogs here? And she says, I think I have just a dog for you. She's bunny and playful and smart and cuddly. Her name is Frenchie. Hmm, Frenchie. I like the sound of that. Frenchie runs right to me and jumps in my lap. She likes it when my sister hugs her. Frenchie is the perfect dog for us. My dad says Frenchie is a LaSalle Spaniel. That is a very unique breed. Unique is fancy for one of a kind. You know what? Maybe that's even better than fancy. I'm so glad that Nancy and her family found a unique, one-of-a-kind dog that's just perfect for their family. Great job, BCPS students, using clues from the text and the illustrations to ask and answer questions and learn the meanings of Nancy's fancy vocabulary words. Stay tuned for some additional activities. We hope you enjoyed that wonderful read aloud. Now it's time to talk about it. Tell someone the story elements using the five finger retell. Characters, setting, beginning, middle, and end. What did Nancy want? that she described as posh. What spectacular idea did Nancy have in the middle of the story? What was unique or one of a kind at the end of the story?
Now it's time to write about it. In this story, Nancy used fancy vocabulary to describe what she was doing. Use one or more of her fancy words to write a story. Words can include posh, which is fancy for stylish or fancy, spectacular, which is fancy for great, or exhausted, which is fancy for tired. Add an illustration to match your story. Now let's have some fun. In this story, Fancy Nancy and the Posh Puppy, Nancy used fancy and posh vocabulary to describe what she was doing. Create something that Nancy would find fancy. Use cereal boxes, cardboard, magazines, and our art supplies to create something that you would call posh. It could be a fancy hat, a race car, a crown, a spaceship, and more. Be creative. And remember, anything can be fancy if you want it to be. Have fun.